hello there and now we are going to be discussing about the friction and how it is going to be affecting the motion of your body so in this case we are trying to define the rolling resistance what is the rolling resistance in this case as we know that there are going to be uh, the members are going to be rotating about its own axis at the same time they are moving in the translatory directions suppose you can take the automobile wheels in this case we need to consider the two wheel drive and four wheel drives in the two wheel drives what will happen the back wheels or maybe the front wheels or any one of the joint of these two wheels are going to be getting the power and accelerating in the forward direction it means that that in two wheel drives the two the wheels some are going to be the driver side some are in the driven side suppose you can take a bus in this case what will happen the power is going to be transmitted to the back wheels at the same time and it is going to be propelling in the forward direction by having a, a torque is receiving but in the front wheels they, they are not getting any kind of the power from the engine rather than it is going to be a, a driven wheels it means the back wheels are going to be the drivers and the front wheels are going to be the driven so in this case where we need to consider the friction it's very clear that the back wheels are going to be receiving the power then there is a traction force is going to be generating so then what will happen this we have to consider the friction at the back wheels but in the front wheels we are not going to be considered because there is no power receiving so at the same time if the four wheel drives are going to be there it means that our four wheels are going to be getting the the power so in this case the four wheels at the contact of the road we need to consider the the friction so in this case i'm going to be discussing about the same point what is the rolling resistance there we can see here that i have taken the horizontal surface that's going to be considered that's going to be a, a road suppose so this is going to be the the wheel and that means in the circular object it is there so then what will happen in this case the object is going to be start to applying the force in this direction in this case i am going to be applying the force in this direction that is the p that p is nothing but it is the applied force on the wheel so then at the same time the body is going to be making a contact over here and the self weight is going to be always acting vertically downward direction it is going to be w so then in this case what will happen so in this case when the force is going to be you are applying so then automatically this body is going to be trying to move that means that is going to be more in the in this direction at the same time this body is also rotating about its own axis so that means it is going to be composing of the two forces that means two motions so one motion is going to be translatory direction the second motion is going to be rotating so this we are going to be explain over here but in this case what will happen at this contact point between the road as well as the wheel then there is going to be a, there is no relative motion is existed so that means here the the velocity of the particles are going to be zero on the road as well as on the a uh, wheel so generally the wheel is in the motion then the velocity is going to be at the contact point is going to be zero that's i'm going to be say v equal to zero acceleration equal to zero or whatever may be the displacement also then what will happen the friction is going to be reduces in this case what will happen the body is going to try to move in this direction and this the it is going to be rotating in this direction so then what will happen in this case the, these particles are going to be suppose if i am going to be zoom here so this is going to be horizontal and this is going to be the contact point i am going to be taking so in this case what will happen the contact points are going to be subjected to here here is going to be the a translatory motion in this direction at the same time these particles are going to be subjected to the the rotor that means uh, rolling motions are going to be subjected so then what will happen these particles are going to be experiencing the zero velocity it means there is no relative motion between the the particle whatever the contact is coming it is not going to be maintain relative motion then the velocity is equal to zero at this point acceleration also going to be zero then the sli the slip is going to be never occur automatically the body is going to be travel with less friction but in in practical cases the rolling resistance is going to be existing so then we are going to be discussing about what is the rolling resistance so here we assume that either the road horizontal plane or the rotating object is the wheel there is no deformation if any one of the body is going to be start to deform either the wheel or maybe the road so then what what will happen there is going to be relative motion is going to be occur there we can see here this only existed the point contact 
so only the point contact is existed that's why the the point at this contact point is going to be there is no relative motion or this the velocity is going to be zero so then what will happen now i'm going to be taking the equivalent diagram for this one by assuming that the road is going to be a deformation is there because of the load so this is going to be your horizontal plane certain distance all right and here is going to be the wheel we do have so then in this case what will happen the road is going to be start to deform in this according to that curve and then it will go like this so can you see here the deformation how it is going to be happening so then because of this one because of the load is going to be acting in the downward direction at the same time we are applying the force in this direction so in this case what will happen the road as well as the wheel there is no deformation or there is no displacement but in this case what will happen when the road or the horizontal plane start to deform because this body is going to be more harder than this one so then what will happen in this case there is a deformation is going to be occurring so then in this case the point contact is shifted to area contact can you see this is going to be called your area contact so due to this reason there is going to be relative motion is going to be existed between the wheel as well as the point of the contact here so then in this case what will happen the reaction force is also going to be generating in this case but in this case what will happen the reaction force is going to be acting vertically upward direction but in this case the reaction force is going to be not in the vertically but rather than because of the displacement your reaction forces are going to be shifted to in this direction so this is going to be your the reaction force is going to be coming so can you see when the point contact is shifted to the area contact when the area is going to be that means that road area is going to be deformed because of the load then in this case what is the the rolling resistance in this case so this is we are going to be calling the the rolling resistance so then we are going to be taking the distance between the the center point of this to the this one i am going to say the a okay that a is going to be that is the forward the length of the the deformation so then in this case what will happen because this is going to be creating a, a resistance to the rolling of the body at the same time the a i am going to be calling here is going to be coefficient of the coefficient of rolling resistance so the forward length of the deformation we are going to be calling the coefficient of rolling resistance this way we are going to be finding the the rolling resistance in this case there is no deformation there is no relative motion at this point but in this case what will happen the road has deformed and then automatically the the resistance force is going to be generating opposing the the motion of this body so that's why we are going to be say there is a rolling resistance is going to be occur either the wheel is going to be deformed or maybe the road will going to be deformed so then we can say this is going to be what the coefficient of rolling resistance